Hey guys, it is Storm. I am back and I hope you are well. I'm going to show you a chicken cooker, farm, kiosk, factory, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, this little design um, that I've been using in my single player world and I thought I would share it with you. This is just a very simple uh, automated farm where you'll get cooked chicken and feathers. So this is the main uh, inner workings of a shop like this. And there's nothing too uh, crazy here. It's, it's quite straightforward. So let's take a look at the individual components. So what will happen is we'll have chickens that will sit on top of this uh, hopper here. Now you could have a slab on top or you could have this at different height levels. It's really up to you. But the key part is the chickens will lay eggs and they'll go inside a hopper. Now what will happen here is items will move into a dropper which is facing vertically. And I have a comparator block uh, checking to see when there are items inside this dropper. So when there are items in here, this block becomes powered. And I've got a, a simple uh, clock design here where this uh, repeater and this redstone will cause a little clock design uh, when you connect it into the comparator like this. Now, when you have a piece of redstone dust there, this will also start to pulse on and off as the clock goes around. And that will move items from the dropper into the dispenser here. Now this dispenser is facing this way and it's going to shoot items or the eggs into this slab block here. Now what will happen is when a, if a chicken spawns from uh, shooting out the egg, it will sit on top of this slab. And where I've got this piece of orange wool here represents where lava is sitting. So as the chickens are small, little chicklets, babies, whatever you want to call them, uh, they will happily sit here, uh, nice and cozy, uh, with the lava on top. But as soon as they grow up to adults, they will touch the lava, and then the items will uh, fall through this slab into this hopper, and then from the hopper we can move the items around. So here I'm just connecting it to a chest here. So that's the pin, uh, basic principle. You could probably do different variants by having perhaps the, the hoppers at different height levels. Um, but this is the basic inner workings. So that's what I have in here, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll build this, and I'll show you how to translate this into this. Okay, so first of all, let's start off by placing down uh, the basic redstone that you need, and then we'll build the shop design around that. So here we've got the, the dropper block facing vertically. Now I need to place a dispenser on top of that. Okay, so next we need to move items into this dropper, so don't forget to hold your sneak key when placing your hoppers against the block that you want the items to move in that direction. So here I'm clicking on the side of this dropper, so these hoppers are all connected. Okay, so items will now be inside this dropper. Next we need the comparator. That will power this block. So what will happen is we'll have this piece of redstone dust so as this pulses on and off that will power this block on and off and that will also power both of these droppers and uh, dispensers here. Okay, so we now just need here a repeater, another full block and uh, some redstone dust. Now you don't need that block there, you could, you could uh, do a design like this but because I want to have the wall of this uh, compressed as much as possible, so the overall size of this shop. Um, that's why I'm using a full block there. Okay, so that's the basic principles. Now I need to move items somewhere, so um, for this design I'm going to show you that I'm going to move items into this chest uh, from these hoppers. So we'll place a slab on top, so the chickens will lay on top of here, the baby chickens, and as they cook They'll fall through into these hoppers and they'll move items into this chest here. Easy peasy. Okay, so next we just need to really start to add the uh, the overall layout, I guess. Um, this is where we're just going to build the shop design around this area. So we know we're going to need, well, first of all, we're going to need some glass. So I want to be able to see what's going on in here. Now, you could probably do this in different ways, but this is going to be one look. Okay, so I'm going to add some glass here. I'm going to add a glass block there and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so now we can start to see that the basic shop design coming together. So I want to hide as much of this redstone as possible. And that's why we went with a relatively compact uh, looking piece of uh, 
redstone here. So you can see if I did use a piece of redstone dust here, I would have to have another block there and there to cover that up. So that's the only real reason. And almost done. Okay, so I want to add some back blocks here. So you can see a, at least the, not the, the inner workings, but it's just the background of the shop through the windows. And we'll do the same on this opposite side here. Okay, so now we know where the lava can sit here. It won't uh, fall out. And we can have the chickens in here without them jumping around and jumping out of here. So when we place in the lava block here, the reason why I used the glass block here is so this will also add lighting uh, to this opposite side here. So the light will travel through this glass block here. If you had a full block here, um, then this area might be a little bit dark. And you won't be able to see the chickens at night. So that's the reason why I use a glass block just there. Okay, so next, um, this is really just the facade and you could do whatever you want on a design like this. Um, but this is the kind of look that I've been going for. Now, lava will shoot up little bits of uh, lava fiber. There you go like little balls of, what do you call that? <laughs> little bits of lava will flick around and they will catch surrounding areas of fire. So you can help minimize that by just putting a couple of half slabs or slabs on top. And you can cover this redstone up however you like. You can place a redstone torch in here or not a redstone torch, but a regular torch so you don't get mobs spawning in an area like this. And yeah, it's really up to you how you want to dress uh, the back of the shop at, at, at the point like this. Um, but maybe a design like this. And what you could also do to be a little bit fancy is add in a trapdoor uh, on top here. And that will contain your chickens. And there we are, that's the overall design now complete. And what you could do is there's a couple of different looks you could go for if you didn't like having uh, the chest here without having the blocks uh, all the way around the facade here. So what you could do uh, slightly different. You could do something like uh, this. That is where I'll place a chest here. Now what I need to do is connect up, uh, where is my hopper? What we'll do is we'll connect up these items. So they'll fall through this slab into these hoppers now and they'll move items into this side chest. So maybe this is a, a look that you would prefer. So here you at least get a nice border around your shop design um, but yeah the look is really up to you now how you cover this area is completely up to you maybe you could do a slab block there like that um, but yeah so let's see this in action now so how you get chickens in here you just got to throw a whole heap of eggs if you have eggs if you don't have eggs um, yep you could jump into creative of course but no I'd the way I do this in my single player world is, yeah, yeah don't worry about uh, drawing chickens in uh, through seeds. All I do is just throw a whole bunch of eggs in. You could do that on this side as well to originally uh, get chickens in here. Um, so once you've got a few chickens here, you can start to breed them. So maybe you'll put a ladder on the side at the back here to climb up on top so you can restock this or breed them just by using seeds. You can reach from here easily. Um, to uh, breed these chickens. So once you've got a few chickens in here, uh, what they'll do is they'll eventually lay some eggs and they'll start to shoot out uh, their chickens. So what I'll do is just to fast track that process, I'll throw in 16 eggs. So this is simulating, these chickens are now laying eggs and you can see we've got a We've got at least a couple of uh, chickens in there now. So we've got a couple of baby chickens. You can see they're not dying. They're currently sitting there happily. Now they will uh, typically sit on this single uh, block here, this slab block here. Uh, they won't move over to here. But as you get more uh, eggs being laid and more chickens uh, get hatched on this side, they do eventually fill up both sides here. So if you're worried that uh, all your chickens are sitting always in this corner. Um, it will be like this when you have a low number of chickens. And yeah, that's basically the overall design. Now something else that I do want to point out, because I'm sure you'll probably come across this and you want to know why. Okay, so in here when we have the 
careful that lava doesn't spew it everywhere here. Okay, so I threw in 16 eggs. Now there's going to be one egg in here. That's because the way that this clock is going around, uh, this piece of redstone doesn't get the last uh, pulse of the clock. Oh, it actually threw out an egg then. So there will always be one egg in here. That's normal. So you won't have any eggs inside this dropper, but there will always be one in here. So I guess in the overall design, you do lose one egg, but that's only ever just one egg. And that's it. It's as simple as that. These chickens will live here happily away. They'll lay their eggs. The chicken babies or little chicklets will sit over here. And yeah, as they grow up to be nice, big and strong, we cook them in a nice fiery death and they're cooked uh, chicken and feathers will fall inside this chest. Now you could do things like add in uh, an item sorter to separate the chicken and the feathers, um, but I think that's overkill. For a simple design like this, this is, this is all we're all going for, something very simplistic and I think it looks quite nice, simple design. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, cheers.